Um, Kian Corla, thank you for the opportunity to address the recent focus and speculation regarding the sale by Limerick County Council of land in Patrick's Well County, Limerick, in 2008. I am in absolutely no doubt that my actions in relation to this matter were at all times legally correct. I was a councillor on Limerick County Council until May of 2007 when I was elected to Dáil Éireann. The question of the potential sale of the property in question at Main Street, Patrick's Well, was brought to the Brough Area Committee meeting by the Council Executive on the 15th of January 2007, which I attended. The question of the potential sale of the property followed various expressions of interest by members of the public. One of the persons who had expressed an interest in the property to the Director of Housing Services at Limerick County Council by a letter from her solicitor was Dr Emer O'Connor, who is also my wife. It was agreed at the area committee meeting that the property should be sold on the open market. There was no vote taken and no disagreement to the proposal by the council executive. It is important to state that an area committee of a local authority, which in the case of the Brough Area Committee included only seven councillors, does not have disposal rights in regard to the sale of council property. This is a reserved and statutory function of the full county council by law. Subsequently, the council's executive appointed an independent auctioneer as the council's agent to conduct a sale of the property on the open market and to sell the site subject to outline planning permission being granted. The property was then marketed for sale by the auctioneer, including advertisements in the local newspaper inviting offers for the property. I have seen the documents released by Limerick County Council under the Freedom of Information Act. It would appear that a number of offers were received through the auctioneer for the property over a period of at least six months, ranging from €110,000 to €125,000, and then ultimately a final offer of €148,000. That final offer was notified by letter dated the 14th of September 2007 from the independent auctioneer to the senior engineer of the council that the property should be sold at that price with the proviso that it was subject to contract, contract denied, outline planning permission and approval of Limerick County Council. The council at its full meeting on the 22nd of September 2008 approved the sale of the property for the sum of €148,000 particulars of which were contained in a statutory notice dated the 1st of September 2008. There was no disagreement to the proposal in the statutory notice. The purchaser and the highest bidder was my wife, Dr Emer O'Connor. It is clear from the foregoing that the property went on sale on the open market with an independent auctioneer appointed by the County Council. Anyone could have bid on the property, and indeed a number of offers were received over a period of six months or so. The bid from Dr Emer O'Connor was the highest bid, and the executive of the council were satisfied to bring the recommendation from the auctioneer to the full county council for disposal. The recommendation was brought to the full council in accordance with the statutory process a further 12 months later in September 2008 and all done in full transparency. The statutory process is clearly set out in section 183 of the 2001 Local Government Act. <clears throat> Prior to the disposal of the property in September 2008 and in accordance with the instruction of the auctioneer by the Council, my wife as the highest bidder submitted an application for planning permission in December of 2007 to build, and I quote, a two-storey building comprising of a ground floor, medical centre 
and first floor offices. The Council granted conditional permission for the development on the 9th of June 2008. On the 26th of August 2008, the senior engineer for Limerick County Council formally recommended the sale of the site. This was followed by Limerick County Council issuing a notice for the disposal of the site on the 1st of September ahead of a full County Council meeting on the 22nd of September 2008 when the sale of the land for €148,000 was approved. For the record, I was not a member of Limerick County Council in September 2008, having been elected a TD in May of 2007. When the Council Executive recommended to the Brough Area Committee that the property should be put up for sale in January 2007, neither I nor my wife had any pecuniary or beneficial interest in that property. In hindsight, and given the focus and perception amongst some that has arisen in 2023, some 15 years later, it would have been better had I not participated in the local area committee meeting in January of 2007, even though it is absolutely clear that my wife did not benefit in any way from my attendance at the January 2007 meeting. However, when I did attend, it was my full understanding, and it remains the same today, that I was not participating in a discussion or a decision that in any way contravened the 2001 Local Government Act. No law was broken. I did not participate in any decision that authorised the sale of this land. This could only be done by the full County Council in accordance with the statutory process. This occurred more than 18 months later when I was no longer a member of Limerick County Council. I'd like to thank you, Count Corla, for giving me the opportunity to address this matter today in Dáil Thank you very much. Thank Minister, you. we move